In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I hydro dipped my white t-shirt using Easy Marble Marable Paint. I got this uh, shirt from a regular uh, clothing store. In advance, I'll let you know I did hydro dip it on the wrong side. I wanted to see if it would work, if I could get a cool design on it. I decided to take that shirt and do the, I don't know, twirl method. You pinch the middle and you kind of keep turning, you keep turning, like almost like a Cinnabon, I guess, right? Um, and I wanted to make sure that all the parts were nicely in a round circle as much as possible. I took my rubber bands. I didn't have the large rubber bands. I had like the black rubber bands that you use for hair, braiding and things like that. And I put that around the shirt to try to get all the pieces to stay in that circle, nice and neat. It kind of worked. This was the part that took the longest, trying to keep everything intact and in the circle. I did a lot of research <laughs> on how to do this because I want to tie dye some shirts uh, using different techniques to see, you know, which design I like the most. So this was uh, me learning how to do it. And of course, I did not have the larger rubber bands. So I'm making do with what I have. You do want to make sure it's nice and snug as possible in that circle. I can say that I quite kept that shape, but uh, it's definitely a work in progress. I think larger rubber bands will make this uh, stay in the circle shape that I want it to. Next time. I have my bucket that I specifically use for hydro dipping items of my desire. I am in my living room, of course, where all the artistic magic happens. I used about two, maybe 32 ounces of water. I used my picture, pitcher, uh, that I got from my local everything store, and I filled that up twice. That uh, bucket is rather big. It's actually, you can stuff anything in there, like files and papers. That's what I originally bought it for. Then I decided to start using it for art, so it all works out. See, multi-purpose, okay? Multi-purpose. Now, I wanted some bright colors. I really had no particular color pattern in mind. So you'll see, I believe it's red, white, blue, possibly uh, aqua blue color as well. Yellow, a dark blue, white, if you're getting something out of this video, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment. I love using Easy Marble, Marable Paint. I always say the name wrong, forgive me, but it's fun, it's simple. You know, it's an easy cleanup. Make sure you wear your gloves. Also, make sure that between each dip that you are wiping cleaning your water basically so you don't have any uh, leftover residue from your previous dip. After dipping it the first time, I realized that it was only on the front part of the shirt and wasn't on the other side. So then I decided to dip again. Now again, I don't really know if this was the smartest move, but again, it's an experiment. It's my first time, I'm going for it. I added my colors. In no particular order, not even the same order that I added it in the first time. So this whole shirt is going to be simply unique. I'm throwing my colors in there. Hoping to get some more color on the other side. I mean, the way it is, it looks like, you know, the color is nice and vibrant. It looks like it's on the majority of the shirt. I'm loving this side, you know, the colors are looking vibrant. I look on the other side and I realize there are no color. There's no design there. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna dip again. I'm gonna put my colors in the bucket, no particular order, to see if I can get a different result. I wanna make sure I clean the water with my glove, meaning taking any excess paint that's left over to make sure that it doesn't mess with my design or my dipping my second time around. But I do love these colors that I've, I'm using now. I love that aqua blue. I love the dark blue. I love the yellow. 
I love how they look on this white shirt. I love easy Marabou marble paint. It's simple. The smell is not bad at all. I'm doing everything in my living room on my art table. That's why you see all the colors there. That is plastic covering my table so that it doesn't actually stain the table itself. And when I'm ready to do another activity or another creation, I just use that plastic. And then when I get old and completely messy, I'll just get a new one. So here we go. I'm getting ready. Second dip. I'm hoping for the same results on the other side. Here we go for real. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to hold it. And I'm going in. For real this time. I'm just going to take my hand. Remove all that extra paint that is not stuck to the shirt. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, I'm not sure if it's how I put the paint in there or dropped it into the water. It's the same water, so it wasn't dirty. Maybe because the shirt was still wet. Nonetheless... It's an experiment. So I'm going to take off my little rubber bands <laughs> off the shirt and kind of see what it looks like. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not frustrated. It's not a total epic fail. You know, it just wasn't what I was looking for. So if you're interested in hydro dipping a shirt using easy marble paint, check this out. Don't forget to smash the like button if you're getting something out of this video, if you're learning something, if I did this so that you don't have to do it, that works for me. If you're interested in hydro dipping a shirt, try it, let me know. If you've done it already, let me know. I want to see what you come up with. Now again, I'm not using spray paint, so that also could be it. Maybe I can try a larger or higher bucket maybe like a garbage can to see if I'm able to submerge the shirt differently but you see it's a lot of still a lot of white shirt present here and I'm not really feeling it so I'm going to dip again I'm going to dip again now because the shirt isn't dry that also could be messing with the design right maybe i should have let it dry and then go back into dip but i did not i did not i mean it's nothing like wearing your own creation good bad or indifferent you begin to learn more of what you like more of what you don't like but as an artist i love wearing some of the things i make why not right So I'm not placing my colors in any pattern, nothing like what I did before. I'm just kind of getting it all in there. Maybe I should have changed my gloves. Maybe that's a thing, right? So you have the opportunity to look back at what you're doing and make changes for my next hydro dip. And that's what this is about. I definitely want to do it again. I purposely bought shirts from my save -a store in the community. So I am just I'm going in. I just I just dipped it in there. I'm pretty sure that this didn't help the shirt whatsoever. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe I should have did the swirl again. I don't know. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm just going to wring it out here, kind of make sure it's not dripping with water. Okay, this is the end result here. I do like that Starbust 
Starbucks sunlight vibe, right? Where there's no design in the middle, it's more white space. And then you see these like lines of easy marble design showing. Very <laughs> creative, abstract, and unique shirt. Now, because the first time I dipped it, I did that cinnamon bun twirl. It wasn't going to be all over the shirt anyway. But um, I do know that you can hydro dip a shirt. Now, the next steps are just getting even more creative and, and better at the process. And I hydro dipped it on the wrong side of the shirt. So I'm going to have to wear the shirt on the wrong side. I just cut the tags off and I cut the neck a little lower so that you don't see the actual wording of where tag was. But overall, decent experiment. If you've tried this already, leave a comment. If you're thinking about trying it, tag me. Let me know. So this is it on me. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, where the design is on the shirt. Hydro dip me, hydro dip me, hydro dip me, hydro, hydro, hydro dip me. Don't forget to click the link over there. I'll see you at my next video.